Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're here with a uh, special episode today for a new map that I know a lot of people are excited about. Uh, but this is a map that is actually somewhat special to me, uh, partly because I grew up farming in Minnesota. Uh, but also, um, this particular farm is based on the Millennial Farmers uh, farm location up in Lowry, Minnesota. And uh, my grandfather actually grew up in the uh, Starbuck Glenwood area, which is like a 10, 15 minute drive from where this farm is located. So um, this particular spot within Minnesota is uh, an area I've spent a lot of time personally. And so I'm really excited to give this map a try. Uh, and so we're going to just jump on in here real quick. And uh, I think today we'll just do a little bit of setup of uh, our farm and kind of take a look around. I haven't gotten a chance to look at it. I'm just glancing through my mods. I've got a pretty basic mod setup here with my standard John Deere loadout. Uh, we'll probably add some more mods. I've got a couple of new surprise mods in there that came out today as well. Uh, and along with the map, there's a Lowry, Minnesota Seasons Geo, so we're going to play with seasons on this map, so I'm hoping we get buried in snow. And we've also got these Millennial Seed Pallets, so I'm not what, sure what those are all about, but we'll take a look. So let's go ahead and get this launched and jump on into the game. And right out of the gate, we've got all of our seasons pop-ups and stuff. Let's... Uh take a quick look around so we did start whoa that's a bunch of snow okay well cool i guess that answers the question as to whether or not the geo is loaded um we've got the whole farm set up i did set this up on new farmer mode so that all the buildings would show up uh, since we are going to play on uh this particular farm uh, this is a, a normal sized map so really there's you know just this one main farmyard there's a few other farms here that you can get but you know on a map so small i think that it just makes sense to play on the main farm and it looks like we start with this really big field here in the back and the uh farmyard here um it probably makes sense to also pick up maybe this one other little field uh but we don't have a whole lot of money so we're gonna have to figure that out here as well uh, I, I have seen some of the map tours and stuff that were done. Um, it, we do have equipment starting out here uh, as well, so we're going to be able to take a look at what we've got. But uh, just knowing myself, I think we're going to want to sell off a bunch of uh, the equipment and uh, run with what we've got. Now, I did see some of the videos that came out ahead of uh, everything that... Uh, ahead of the release of the map and um, I know that they've got a f fairly robust uh, grain leg set up here with some different options so I'm really looking forward to uh, being able to play with this uh, a little bit more realism and uh, see how that works um, so that's exciting uh, we got a bunch of equipment kind of setting out and about so uh, this is going to be really exciting can I open the store up I probably have to go in and punch a switch somewhere. There's doors. There we go. Nope. Come on. Is there a button I gotta push? Uh, open door. Ah, there we go. It's a, just a different button for the garage door for some reason. Alrighty. And is that going to be common throughout? We're going to have to punch these buttons with the middle mouse button. That is a little bit different. And so we've got a total of three semis and trailers. So they're trying to replicate uh, some of the real farm setup here, which is cool. Um, we're still probably going to sell most of this off. Can I? The, uh, each of these has probably got a um if it's a real door it's got a button on the inside so we'll only be able to open those from the inside that's interesting um you know a little bit of uh, added realism i guess so if i push button one i can turn those on button two that's cool i mean a little bit of uh configurability here so that you can do some things differently um 
yep. So it looks like they're definitely trying to replicate uh, some of the farm setup here. So we're going to sell off a lot of this equipment uh, as we get going here. In fact, I'll probably sell off all of it because I want to replace it with the mods that uh, I like to use even when there's an in-game version. I like to use some of the other ones. There's a couple of these things that we'll probably keep. Um, like this would be a good thing to keep. We've got a nice coon sprayer. What uh, sprayer is that? Have I just not seen this sprayer? Hmm. It's a base game sprayer that I've never played with. That's pretty cool. We're probably going to uh, get an R4045 or uh, use one of the other sprayer mods that I've recently got. Um, so yeah, so this is cool. Uh, I'm super excited. I'm kind of curious if I can uh, get down the road, even though we haven't uh, plowed. We're going to have to actually get a snow plow and stuff for this map. Oh, wow, that is some hefty snow. I have no idea if I'm actually driving. I am not driving on the driveway because I know the driveway is over here. Oh, well, we're just going to bounce along. Hopefully we won't get stuck. This is uh, pretty epic. Hopefully it gets a little bit better as we get on the road here. And not so much. Well, we're just going to bounce along and uh, add snow plowing equipment to the list of things that we need to definitely invest in. What I wanted to do, maybe this is just a bad idea. We're, we're, we're going to get stuck. Um, I wanted to come up here and uh, take a look at like the dealership and some of that stuff. I think that up here, wow, I'm, there's, I'm running into something. Hmm, I can't run across this field. Like I know I can get into that building somehow. At least I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah, there's an invisible wall on in this field. Fascinating. Uh, okay, well, I'll stop trying to run into the invisible wall. Let's walk up here. So we've got, looks like some cell points. And uh, the John Deere dealership here. And so I strongly suspect this is where my equipment's going to show up when I buy it. And I just wanted to run over here and get a chance to check this out in person. I've seen it on some of the videos and stuff. So, yep, this is uh, pretty cool looking. Nice 8RX picture on the wall. Lots of little parts and things like that. So I, I really like the attention to detail that they put in here. Uh, and the, I actually kind of like the cheesiness of uh, having the pictures on the windows to make it look... Um, like there's an office behind it. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm so excited. I'm just going to explore real quick up here. I mean, it's just kind of cool to have these different levels. And then, yeah, once we buy equipment, I think it's going to show up back here. So this is going to be awesome. So with that said, I think that uh, my plan is going to be to sell off all of the equipment that we have right now. So let's jump into our garage and we're just going to mass sell. Well, not mass sell. I know I'm going to replace the tractors with uh, different mods. I know I'm going to replace the combine with a better mod. Um, I know I'm going to get my Chevy pickup. I'm going to leave all of these forklifts on the map because I think that those are strategically placed. I know I'm going to get different headers. I know I'm going to have a different plow and planter and sprayer. You've got to have the Thunder Creek fuel trailer, though. Um, we're going to leave all the bunkers and buildings and biogas stuff because I think that things would fall apart if we got rid of this. So a lot of the stuff that's in here seems to be driving decoration and stuff around the map. Um, knowing that I can get rid of some of this is cool. It's kind of interesting. They left the uh, 3D modding stuff in there for that. Um, 
So that leaves us with what? $1.6 million. That's not a lot of money, folks. So one of the other cool things that came out today was um, Sid Modding released uh, the 60 and 70 series. Um, so I've been using his 9600, but uh, now I've got this. Uh, I believe both of these came from Sid Modding. I can't recall now, actually. I should probably check this out. Let me save my game real quick. Um, just because I don't want to lose where we're at. Games have a tendency to crash. I am pretty sure this one is the one that Sid Modding just released today uh, on the Giants Mod Hub. And we love having us a green tank. Um, but, wow, there's a lot of options. This is the one that we had. This is the style we had more growing up. Mm, maybe it was like that. I don't know. We'll go with this one. It's not so expensive. Uh, Michelin tires. What are my options? Ooh, road crop. I like how that looks. Yeah. I think we're going to do the row crop duels. What are my other brands? I got Midas, Michelin. Yeah, I don't need floaters. All right, there we go. Row crop duels. Looking snazzy. Don't need no numbers. Don't need an oversized sign. Interior details. What does that mean? Oh, no, absolutely not. Uh, rain crap. Where's my exhaust? Boop. Normal, top left, top back. Yeah, we're going to do that one. Uh, short pipe. Standard pipe. Foldable pipe. I don't actually remember. I guess we can always change that later. We're going to need GPS. Chopper tailboards. Oh, you bet you. Um, how did we, I think it's something like that probably. And then you've got your 96 or 95, 60, 96, 60, 97, 98. Ooh, $50,000. That's a lot of money. And then do we need the green star out there? I mean, we've got GPS, but we kind of need to represent, right? We don't, we don't want to cheat. So we're going to go all the way up to 9860. We're going to get the tailboards. We're going to do the duels. We're going to get the tip up style. And we're going to pray that it fits in our shed. And we're going to buy this. This is going to be our single biggest uh, piece that we need. And that's a 400 horsepower setup. And then with that, I think think what we can do is grab the older 12 row head I want lights and that's all we need and then uh, the other mod that we have we're gonna be a little bit cheesy um, fan service we're gonna try out the big wait did i get the 12 row i meant to get the 16 row we'll go back in a second uh, we're gonna get this header with the i don't know what this number is um with the air bar that's gonna be cool and then i think i can change these to yellow yes we're definitely going to try this out because it looks cool and I haven't had a chance to try it yet. Um, we bought the wrong corn header though. We needed to buy the 16 uh, row corn header. We're really going to hope that this combine is actually capable of supporting it. So, yes, done. 
Look at that. We've got a combine. One of our headers. I have no idea where the rest of our equipment is. So what else are we going to need? We're going to need a tractor. And we're going to be super cheesy and get the really cool 8RX. We'll put some weights on it. We're going to bump the engine up. We're going to put the GPS on it. And we're going to um, widen the tracks out. And we're going to add the extra screen because it looks cool. And we're going to buy that. And we're almost out of money. And so with that, we've got our basic setup. Um, we are going to need to figure out um, the accessory equipment that we want to run with this. Now, I have a specific planner that I want to run that I forgot to add in. So I'm going to go do that offline. And... Um, we really need to get, ah, yes, this is what I was going to run on here um, because I still haven't gotten a chance to play with this yet. Um, I don't think we're going to put any weights on it. I think Firestones are fine. Um, we we'll probably run with rear duels, and we're obviously going to need GPS. So that'll be fun to run. And then we've got lots of semis. I don't actually need that many semis is the thing. Um, so maybe we jump into the garage here. And we're going to sell off at least one of these um, semis. We'll keep two trucks seems about right. I've got the big grain cart, which actually I want to swap this out. Uh, so yeah, this is a good start. I think the only other thing that I'm missing would be a plow and a planter. Um, so let's jump over here. I have a new plow mod. Uh, this is really Cool. We finally have a three-point mounted uh, version of um, the V-plow, which I'm really excited about, uh, but I don't have enough horsepower to pull it. <laughs> uh, we'll worry about that problem later because I really want to get the full-size one. Yes. Oh, uh, we're going to do it. We're going to buy this, and then we'll figure out what we're going to pull it with later. <laughs> Other problems down the road. We're good at punting problems till later on. And then I do not have the planter that I wanted to use here because I wanted to get a high-speed planter. And I have one. Um, I think it might have a few issues, but we'll sort that out. Um, I might have to do some mod cleanup to get us going. Uh, but I think this is going to give us what we need. We've got something to spray. We've got something to plow. I know what we want for a planter. And we can harvest. We can haul our grain to market. And so that is going to get us going. So what I'm going to do is figure out how we're going to get this uh, equipment back to the farm. And we will... Um, pick this series back up next time. I just wanted to get a chance to jump in here, take a look at the map, and you know, really, you know, show our starting lineup, show some of the new mods that we've got here. Um, I'm really excited to try out. Um, you know, I've got three new mods that I haven't really gotten a chance to use too much in other series. Um, we did start playing with this 8RX in our Newland series. Uh, and we've uh, not had a chance to check out this new combine from Sid because it just came out today. And this came out a little while ago, but I haven't had a chance to actually use it in the fields yet. Um, so this will be a good series to play around with that. So um, 
thanks for checking in here. Uh, this is just the kickoff of a, a new series that we're going to be running on this map. It's pretty small and a uh, small map, so it'll be fun to play with some medium to medium size, large size equipment on a small map and uh, really be able to make some quick progress on it. I hope you're as excited for this map as I am. This is going to be a really fun series. That's all for today. Kederk, 